Hello and welcome, my name's Jay Riviera and we're back with more Invisible Ink. Uh, we're currently on the playthrough of our Far Travel No Inventory, which is starting to become quite a struggle because the missions are getting harder and they are getting very hard to deal with and we've had to drag agents out of missions twice now. So this is the penultimate mission, we're going to head off to once again a useless nanofab. I think that's the furthest away, yep, yes it is, and pretty much we're here just for money, that's all we're really after, money to upgrade with agents, try to get everybody to stealth level 4 at least, and then see if we can go and bring back the hostage, but yeah, I can't believe I've recorded these 4 episodes without talking about the update that's coming, Um. I'm guessing it's the update that's going to bring Invisible Ink from being early access into an actually fully developed game, which is awesome. And that is coming on the 15th of May, which I am super excited about and I need to get this experience up so that we can check out the two new characters that I think are in the update. Two new characters, two new mission types voice actors, there's quite a lot in the update, it's it's quite a, well, they've took the time, so it's quite a big update. Right, so we're going to head around, can't see anybody, so we'll pop over to the doorway, and we'll have a little peek. You know what, I turned the sound down to 30, but it seems very low, I'm not sure if it's just my headphones, because... Yeah, it is. It's because um, I actually watched through the rest of me videos and that stupid notification is coming up, which really pisses us off. I need to do a factory reset as soon as possible. Right, at least we've got one safe room. But it's not safe enough, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to pop into cover and shut the door there. Right, we're going to actually risk opening this door. If a guard sees one, we can get into cover, which is fine. Right, it's a camera, which is brilliant. We need a pop fusion. Jesus, this is what's going to kill we're about not going to those, not picking up any incognito programs in the first mission. Just bring the camera in a little. Right, and we should be set to end the turn for now. Holy shit, we cannot move. Could steal his money, so. Jesus Christ, we got lucky there. And we can take this down this turn so we can get shield. Oh, fuck's sake. Hmm. We're going to have to go through that way eventually. Well, we might not. We might be able to leave it, but... Uh, this is not good. Right, so let's just end the turn for now. Let this guard move off. And then bring Tony into this room. Yes, we can move there. Do 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 do. Pick up this console. It may only be two power, but it's got to be done. 
then we'll wait here and we'll steal from the guard as he comes back. But I think I need to take this down. And we need to take the daemon on it. Daemons are hidden, that's fine. Just for four turns. Actually, that's pretty good. That's one of the better ones that we could think of. Have a little peek. Corporate safe, that's amazing. But we're not going to hack it yet. Just shut that door. And we can head up here and have a peek through here as well. Right. We're not going to need to go into that room. It would have been beneficial for Tony to come this way. But we can't help that now. Maybe if we get a pass card, we can switch them over. Right, good. I, I thought he was going to just stay there. Right, so Tony gets stealing from this guard for now. No pass card, but we'll take a your manners. Right, so we can use three AP for now. So one. Two, three, and we'll just head back into position, I'm guessing. Actually, we can use one more, and I'm going to use that a peak, because I wanted to see, to make sure that we could get behind this cover here. Right, so now if we'll just shut that door. And we'll head behind here, which will give him cover from both of these guards. And there's going to be nothing in that room. Nothing of use anyway. Let's just go check it out just in case. Right, just in case there was a stationary guard sitting in here, we could have gone and stole his munners. I so want to get into this room. Right, one more turn on fusion. And three more turns on the daemon. Right, Shalem, get yourself into a hidden position, which is perfect. Right, we need to open this door. And I want to observe where this guard's going. Right, he walks past there in a straight line, so we can actually put Tony into this area, which is excellent. Actually, up here is going to be so much better. Right, yeah, okay, we're going to go and head up here. Now, 
then we're going to come pick up this corporate safe next turn. Actually, we probably could have stayed there, stole from the guard and picked up the corporate safe. But we'll pick up this corporate safe next turn round. So let's just, how, how many is on there? Two. Right. So let's just end the turn. The patrols of these guards aren't too difficult to deal with at the minute. Right, so if we go subdermal tools this. Right, okay. That douchebag's back. I think I may actually just take the stuff from the safe because I need money. I really need money. But I think I might do it just as we're heading towards the exit. Shalem should be safe there. Shit, we need to do fusion. Do you know what? A scanner on this level would be the worst. Right, let's end the turn. So what I wanted, I wanted this guard into position so that we can come and sit by the safe. And he'll turn round and he'll head off that way. Next turn, we're going to hack the camera drone. Steal from this guard, hopefully get the pass card. And I'm actually going to bring the camera drone up through here. Is that a good idea? I'm not sure. But for now, we're going to have to just end the turn and see where it lies next turn. Yeah, I actually think that's a really good idea to bring the... Well, it all banks on this guard having the pass card. If he has the pass card, then it's pre we're pretty much golden. But we need to take down this camera drone to steal from the guard. I'm going to start heading it up this way. No! Shit. We need to ignore this. Take the money, ignore the canister. and get back into position. Right, and now Shalem, we need you to come down here.
right how we're doing on fusion we're fine for fusion what's that two with a daemon see that corporate safe is it's kind of my main objective at the minute But to get that, I need a pass card. So let's just end the turn for now. What is AP? Right, Tony can't observe that guard. Within five tiles, so we can't run. Shit balls. Um, right, we're gonna have to observe this guard. Yeah, he would see this area here. Definitely need to find a way to peek through this doorway though. Right, we can't actually steal the drone's power yet. We're going to have to end the turn as it is. Shit, forgot to move him behind the... What's it called? What I definitely want to do is subdermal tools this guy. Then get Shalem in the cover here. Whew. We are probably going to get caught. For sure. But it gives you a little bit of time and a little bit of leeway. Right now, if we go here, we can observe this guard's movements. He's heading out there, which means Tony has the time to slip past now. And he's not going to make it. He's only making it to to here which is fine if you peek can you observe his movements yep right and he's going to peek and he's going to see him so we're going to have to move Shalem to here for now
Right, and let's just end the turn, see what happens. Shit. See if we can't take the heat off him by... Shit, no, because if this guard turns round... Right, let's run. And if we run up here, that leaves him with nine points, and it's going to at least bring two of those guards away, I believe. Is this going to sh save Shalem's life? Or are they still going to come investigate? We may have just saved Shalem's life. We need a pop fusion. And if Shalem survives, that's going down. And he's running into that room. Okay, there's a camera in there as well. And we'll kind of hack it. <laughs> right, if we subdermal tools this... Take whatever it's got and then have a little peek. You're shitting us. Right, we can see these two corners, so we can open this door. No, we can't because they will see that. Nearly made a huge error there. Right, if you peek, you can actually observe some of these guards. He's heading up that way, which is ideal. And if you can observe the rest. Do not ask how I got out of that situation, but... Oh, does that mean that... Does that mean that... Fusion's not working? Shit. So let's just observe these two guards, see where they're heading. He's heading there, that's fine. Next turn we can open the door. He's heading up there. So, yeah, next, this turn we can actually pop out to the side, open the door, see what we've actually got in here. It's a camera. 
we're never ever going to take that down we don't need to the power that's in that console ain't going to be worth it anyway Right, just observe this guard. Actually, we'll have Tony do it because he's not going to be moving at all now. Right, that's excellent. And he's heading through into there. You know, I'm going to be cheeky and I'm going to stick Tony right behind this guard so he's got more movement when he gets into that room. So let's just end the turn and see how it goes. Actually, we might be better off sticking Shailen behind here as well. It's only one more turn on them. Incognita being locked down. Nah, it's not worth the risk. Let's just end the turn. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to observe this guard, make sure he's still heading that way. Yep. And then head beside this door. Holy shit. How many is that? Three? Can we peek? It's a pointless room. This guy probably has the pass card. But that's not going to really change anything. But that's safe. We're going to have to let it go. But it might be worthwhile thinking about taking that down. Need a pop fusion. Shit balls. Right, first let's head next to this guard. Right, no, it looks like we can get straight through. Right, yeah, I say we'll leave that corporate safe. And we'll just start bringing Sh Shalem down this way. So let's... We should be good to move here. Do a run. It looks like that guard is actually there. He might not be though. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to peek. Right, he is there. So we do not run. 
We cannot run. <coughs> Sorry about that. And we'll have Tony come and have a peek through this doorway. Ah, oh, shit balls. Um, I'd much prefer to hack the power supply than. Do you know what? Do it. Just do it. The only problem is there's only one area I've cover from this guard in this room. But if we get into that room, there's plenty of power in there. Right, so we're going to have to end the turn anyway, so we'll just end the turn for now. Shit, we need to get this guard from going in there. First, let's steal from this guard. Whatever happens, we're going to steal from this guard. Money and pass card is welcome. Now we actually need Shalem to stop this guard from going into that room. We're going to do that by getting noticed. And then hiding behind here. Actually pop out. Have a peek. One. Two. Back into cover. They're both heading up to investigate that gunshot, which is perfect. Next turn, we can take that down. How many? We've got two turns on fusion. Right, as soon as we get in there, we'll have the power to um, pop fusion. Can we observe this guard? Right, he actually turns, so we need to get... Shit. This is why you shut doors. If I had to shut that door, I wouldn't be having a problem right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
he, yeah, he would get into this room to see us. Right, we've got a peak. And pretty much the full playthrough lies on this moment right here. If Tony can get into this room without being seen, we're fine. If he gets seen, we're screwed. is seen. Shit, I think that is end of playthrough. Well, it's not because we can carry on with Shaylin, but... Right, let's go. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Do we hack this down? Yeah, we're gonna have to. Did we steal from this guard? I think he's one from the guard room so he doesn't actually have any items on him. Actually, the smartest thing is probably to go back. The smartest thing would have been to go here. But we're going to have to go back. Right, we want to be noticed to bring one of them out.
but now pretty just much just going to have to wait until they disperse from that room. I'm guessing that the elevator's just here. The floor's been quite a big one. You know, we may have a chance. Right, let's just observe this guard's movements. He's heading here. And maybe we'll try to use these turrets to our advantage. Maybe that's what we're going to have to do. Alright, I've turned that on, but that's not against the enemy. Right, so let's just end the turn for now. Hmm. Depends where this enforcer's going. We need to get into this room though. To get the power to pop fusion. To keep everything going. Gonna once again have to actually we'll check where he's going. We'll have a peek. They're both going up there. Right, we're going to have to end the turn, but depending upon the sight lines when he peeks here, it could be end of playthrough. I can't get anywhere else, can I? Nope, observing both of their movements stopped us from going here. So anyway, three. From here to here to here, which would have probably kept us safe. End the turn and see how it goes. Oh, he's going to see us there, What, whatever happens. Yep, end of playthrough. Oh, shit. So close. <sighs> you know, I can only really be happy with with how far I got. The missions were getting extremely hard. Maybe without the far travel, the no inventory thing would be uh, a possible thingy. I might do them separately, do the far travel and then do the... the no inventory but yeah what can i say we failed but please do drop a like or a comment if you did enjoy the episode stay hidden and i'll see you next time cheers bye